I heard a rumor over the weekend that it was Thomas Paine, not Thomas Jefferson, who wrote the rough draft of the Declaration of Independence back in 1776. I have spent the past three days trying to hunt down the original source where I heard that and any way to confirm that, which of course I couldn't, maybe I dreamed it. Nonetheless, it is common knowledge that Payne's Common Sense, published in January 1776, greatly influenced the Revolutionary War. And I'd argue it's still relevant in 2022. I'm author Gwen Elise Clayton, and the society that I try to create in my paranormal fiction books greatly mirrors the society that Thomas Paine talked about in Common Sense. Somewhere in this house, I have a copy of Common Sense, but I can't find it. But I do have this way cool copy of The Rights of Man, which I will use as a prop so you have something to look at besides my talking head and all this way cool B-roll I captured from all of our local 4th of July celebration. While some may argue this country's founding documents are irrelevant today because they were written by white male property owners who weren't Catholic, Jewish, or Quakers, I would counter that Payne's common sense spelled out the purpose and form of an ideal government, and that ideal still holds today. In my video, Creating the River Vine Utopia, I outlined the nine pillars that make up the ideal society. Pillar number six is good governance. I don't care if you're conservative, progressive, libertarian, or socialist. Having a functional society should be everyone's end goal. Our government is what creates that foundation so that we can have a functional society. It decides the rules we follow, the taxes we pay, how those taxes get spent, and other things that create the framework for society. In my search this weekend for that reference to Thomas Paine ghostwriting the draft of the Declaration of Independence, I stumbled upon this video from a channel called Tom Talks, where reenactor Rean Ruskin portrayed Thomas Paine and summarized his famous booklet, Common Sense. I will post a link to it in the description. In that episode, he talks about the need for government that represented all the individuals in a community and took into account their unique needs and ensured the care of everyone, including the elderly and the infirm. Some may dismiss his work as socialist, but he never advocated for government control of the economy. He left that to the capitalists. But even capitalists need to understand and admit that a functional society needs to have a working safety net, not this piecemeal system in the US today. I also want to point out that being a patriot is not the same thing as being a jingoist. In my video, Trail of Reflection, which I'll also link in the description, I talk about the appeal to tradition logical fallacy. We shouldn't hold on to arbitrary traditions just because the founding fathers said so. This isn't a case of my country right or wrong, or lately it's more like my political party right or left. Our founding fathers were not infallible gods with infinite wisdom. They were imperfect men trying to create a more perfect union. It's on us to continue the vision and help it evolve. We need to participate in government and especially local government. And I would even argue that our state government has just increased in importance thanks to the recent Supreme Court decisions. After all, democracy is not ruled by majority, but ruled by those who participate. 
Thanks so much for watching the River Vine YouTube channel. If you found this video interesting or informative, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more quality content. I'm your host, Gwen Elise Clayton. I drop videos every Tuesday evening. Please join me next week for more news, features, and commentary from the Rivervine Utopia. Mm -hmm.